the l less quantities, like if you could say the particular species of fish that aren't around as much anymore? Oh, well, that's about all of them. My name's Kit Taylor. I live between Wilmington and Wrightson Beach for 62 years. That's where I was born and raised, and this area has always been my home. We started fishing on fishing piers when we were young. You know, we kept hearing about the Gulf Stream and how good the fishing was offshore. So we started hanging around the charter boat docks in the area. We would go down there when they came in and, and clean fish and do some jobs around the boat, hoping that one day one of the mates wouldn't show up. And if we were down there, we were offered a, a trip to, you know, bait the next day. But I think the first time uh, I was offered a trip, I was like, eight or nine years old and we went out in the ocean and went off rights when trolling for King Michael and there was a real abundance of them. I thought, man, this is what I'm gonna do the rest of my life. This is the most exciting thing I've ever seen or done. I just, I'm not gonna be able to get enough of it. The last 20 or 25 years, the fishing has really sort of declined. The species, some of them just aren't as, as thick as they were years ago. We just don't have the quantity of them that we had it years ago to go target. But when we were young, fishing on fishing piers was excellent. And the reason why, there'd never been any beach renourishment done on our beaches. It sort of developed this, what we called, perfect conflict between the economic development by humans and the natural dynamics. Beaches were eroding, houses were falling in the ocean, and highways were being eroded, land was being lost. So the government started bringing these big dredges in. You had all this sand moved from back in intercoastal waterway and, and around the inlets onto the beach, and that was not sand that was supposed to be on those beaches. They were moving sand up there on those beaches that weren't used to this type of sand. So every time we'd have a hard northeast or a hurricane, all the erosion would wash that sand right out to sea. Those are sea level events, and they're intimately a product of climate change. If we continue to warm the climate, the glaciers continue to melt, sea level, and the big scale is going to continue to rise, probably a really big difference. We will have a storm or multiple storms between now and 2030, 2045, that will take out big hunks of our coast. If we had a big storm, it'd take the whole coast out. What used to be a real live bottom off our beaches is now covered up with this sand that has washed off from where all the beach renourishment had taken place over the last however many years since I've been doing it. Wrightsville Beach is probably the most nourished beach in the world. People argue that, well, we, have, we haven't lost a lot of houses on the beach because we've done that. Well, that's true. But what have we lost in other resources, in the, in the fishery, in the marshes? Because it's not just the fish that are, that are being lost from the hard bottoms out there, from the rocks. It's the productivity of the marshes that feed all these fish. We can do a better job than what we're doing right now because we understand how it works. If we get smart, we can have an economic system and we can protect the resources on which that system's based.